hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to hit that like button and subscribe really appreciate it thank you very much so we're talking about the minimum wage in the state of California going up to $20 an hour which I've already talked about it um, I already knew what's going to happen uh, honestly anybody that has some sense and has a little bit of a you know mental capacity in your head you will know that this is things that are going to be affected you know most people are going to get either you know terminated from their jobs some businesses aren't going to be able to afford to pay these um especially like i'm not talking about like big franchises like mcdonald's mcdonald's will survive but the cost of food is going to be very very expensive i mean i've seen in other states that they're charging 18 dollars for a big mac combo are they insane seven dollars for a egg mcmuffin are you insane but I've seen that kind of prices coming here in the state of California. But like I said, most of these big franchises are going to be able to handle it comparing to smaller establishments that are, you know, serving fast food. They're not going to be able to. Um, if anything, they're probably going to, you know, let go of a bunch of people because anytime you raise the minimum wage for your average employees, then you have to also raise the minimum wage for your managers, your supervisors, your general managers. So everybody has to get more money in order for for you to i don't know make people happy per se because your supervisors are not going to be excited or happy if they're making the same amount of money as the, as the base employees like let's say for example mcdonald's right um all your employees are making you know 16 17 dollars an hour right because that's the minimum wage right now i've seen an advertise 16 17 dollars an hour right so now we're bumping them up three dollars going up to twenty dollars an hour let's say you have your lead that's making about twenty dollars an hour so you can't pay him twenty dollars an hour you got to pay him a little bit more so you got to pay him 22 now you got to pay your managers more money now you got to give them 24 now your general managers and your managers you got to make more money obviously 26 27 and now your gm has to make even more money so now you're going to be put in to this kind of place now what are you going to do either you have to let go some people or cut down some of those full-time employees and put them part-time in order for you to save costs and you don't have to give them benefit. That's something that's going to be happening for your employees as well, too. So let's go check out this article by Bloomberg. They wanted me to pay for it, but since I got the mobile version of it and it's all over the place, I don't have to pay for it. And I don't want to pay for Bloomberg just for this one article. I mean, anyways, let's go to the article right now. So here's the name of the article. Um, it's called, I'm a California restaurant operator preparing for the $20 an hour fast food wage by trimming hours, eliminating employee vacations, and raising menu prices. And unfortunately, this is going to happen across the board. Um, most of these places are going to be getting rid of a lot of their employees, unfortunately, um, because they have to do something to save some money for their business. I mean, when it comes to, you know, food costs is already expensive it is it, as it is. And then you're adding more money for going out for your business. I mean, some of these restaurants, I don't want to say fast food, but certain places you're barely scraping by. But when you're when the government throws this kind of wrench at you, <laughs> you, you do what you have to do to survive. Anyway, Marcus. Marcus Wilberg and his family operate f uh, four fat burgers franchises in Los Angeles over the years. The restaurant survived economic downturn, state labor laws that increased operational costs and COVID-19 pandemic. By doing business in California has been more strained now than any time I remember, Wilberg told Business Insider. The main reason California fast, fast food workers are getting a big bump in pay to $20 and under a new state law that goes into effect on April. The new wage is nearly 30% more than employers pay fast food workers. The law affects 557,000 fast food workers at 30,000 restaurants in California. The fast food franchisees are bracing themselves for the increased labor costs by trimming staff and implementing hiring freeze. <sighs> so hopefully you're not the last one, the last one in, because usually the last one in is the first one out. Unfortunately, let me see if I can bring this uh, to the side over here. Let's see here. Okay. I hope you guys can see it. But I'll put a link in the description, but you're not going to probably have access to it because maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll have access to it. 
Two Pizza Hut franchisees, I can barely see it myself, who own hundreds of stores in California are eliminating their in-house delivery fleets. The labor gutting strategy has left 1,200 drivers without jobs. That's a ton of people. Holy hell. I feel that there will be a lot of pain to workers as franchise as franchise owners are forced to make drastic measures unfortunately Wilberg said he was making changes to ensure the new wage wouldn't bring us down some changes are surprisingly including the type of fast food works worker he expects to hire in the future so now finally maybe we'll get some quality um service I mean, these fast food workers, they don't really give a shit. You know, they, they usually were getting paid very minimal. But to me, anytime I go into any one of these establishments, I still treat them with respect. I try to, you know, greet them. How you doing? You know, whatever. Just making small conversations because at the end of the day, they're still people, in my honest opinion. It doesn't matter what kind of work they do. They're still people. That's the way I treat people. You know, but me, you know, not everybody treat people like that. I've seen it on social media, but it ends up backfiring on them. They think that they're right, but no. You never fuck with the people that make your food. Golden rule. Wahlberg said uh, raising prices was number one thing every California fast food owner was talking about. It's a scary thing because customers are already complaining the prices are too high. Fucking hey, they are. Um, year over year, prices were up 8% at his restaurant, he said. When fast food wages increased to $20 an hour in April, we will have to take another 8 to 10% increase. Fuck! He said he was checking menu prices, rivals, to ensure Fatburger's price increases were in line with everyone else. Still, he said it was never, he was nervous about jacking up prices to customers who are already feeling the strain of higher prices due to inflation. Over the past two years, chains such as Starbucks, McDonald's, Chipotle have raised menu prices to combat commodity costs and wages. McDonald's, which has raised prices by 20% in two-year period late last year, that it was starting to lose low-income customers because people can't afford it. McDonald's was the thing. McDonald's was, man, I love me some McDonald's. I just had some McDonald's today. But, um, you know, it, it's... It's getting there. Like before, you can get the big doubles. It's still cheap right now. I think it's like two for three ninety nine, which is still a deal in my honest opinion. That's a pretty good deal. Um, but everything else on their menu is actually going up. I've seen it somewhere on here, at least not in this specific state where they were charging like eighteen dollars for a Big Mac combo, as well as seven dollars for an egg McMuffin, which is just crazy, <laughs> crazy. McDonald, you're better off honestly just eating at home just buying groceries yourself there's really no comparison now than ever between the two you used to go to fast food because it was cheaper but if it's getting to a price or getting to a point where you can't afford it i mean what's the point right cutting employee hours and implementing a hiring freeze Wahlberg isn't laying off his workers like pizza hut but he is reducing his labor costs in other ways he said he was trimming employee hours and implementing hiring freeze. We're not hiring new people to fill jobs. He said we're being very tight on schedules. So he, at least the people that he's going to be keeping on are, are going to be like people that produce. If you work hard, you do what you're supposed to do and not a lot of oversight, you know, doesn't have somebody consistently standing behind you to make sure that you do your job. You know, those are the kind of people that's going to be honestly keeping their jobs. The lazy ones, you know, you got to go. If you're not being productive to the business and making sure that you know he can keep his business going what's the point of you being there you gotta go <clears throat> scraping employee vacation time Wahlberg said he used to offer paid time off and eligible workers the average worker earned about 48 hours of paid time off capped at 72 hours a year he said but he eliminated the pto program first launch in 2021 to the start of start of the year to prepare the increase in wages in 2024 he said he said employee liked the program because it gave them flexibility time off for families. We just can't afford to do it anymore. He said, damn, that's fucked. <sighs> See, this is, I feel like when these politicians do something that they think is going to be positively influencing people, it affects other people in a different way, unfortunately. Because these, these businesses, they have to survive in some way. And some of them aren't making that much of a profit, 
when it comes to selling fast food. Unless you're McDonald's. McDonald's makes a shit ton of money. Honestly, that parking lot's always full at certain times. In and out, the parking lot's always full at certain times. And In and Out is already there, to be honest with you. They already pay pretty good comparing to all the other fast food workers. They're just adjusting everybody to come to the standard of 20, which is just oof. The minimum wage in California is $16 an hour in Los Angeles. While Warburg and his restaurants, the minimum wage hourly is slightly higher, sixteen seventy eight. This program should have been phased in over time instead of jumping the California minimum wage staff by 25% in one single day. Walwick said that with minimum wage starting at 20 for an entry level worker, he's forced to raise wages for shift leaders. Ha ha! Ha 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 It's what I was talking about, baby! It's exactly what I was talking about. He's forced to raise wages for. I don't know if you guys can see it because this thing is being really lame right now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's go back up. Here we go. Yeah, this is much better. Why didn't I do that in the first place? He's forced to raise raise wages for shift leaders and managers who are making about the same amount of money but have much more responsibility. If you're a shift leader and you're responsible for making sure everyone got their breaks, you're not going to do all that extra work for $20 minimum. He said, noting that same would be paid to the guy who cooks the burger and goes home. As a result, he said there was going to be a domino effect on <laughs> the upper ranks who are going to demand more money or flee. An entry level manager is now going to want more than $20 an hour, he said. All that translates back to the customer having to pay more money because the landlords aren't going to drop the rent. The money has to come from somewhere. Hi hiring pa patterns will change in casual dining workers will jump ship to fast food even though it's not hiring Wahlberg said he expected to get influx of applications come april from casual dining workers are looking for more money the new california law doesn't apply to employees at full service chains such as chili's or cheese fact cheese uh cheesecake factory the veteran franchise consult agreed he said he fully expected casual dining workers to jump ship and go over to fast food locations because the pay is better um, they're going to go where they're going to get the most money. He said, Wahlberg said there was an upside and downside to this expected new hiring development. He's, he, he said he would consider someone who had worked at Chili's Applebee's because they would have more hospitality experience as a result of labor shortages of the past. Could be behind him as more people apply for fast food jobs. You're going to get better grade of employee. Maybe not immediately, but over a short period of time, he said. We'll be able to fully staffed with very committed, service-oriented employees. Facts. And I completely agree with them on there. You're going to get people that are more able to service your customers. So then the customer service is really going to go up because you can get quality people. Because quality people are going to finally apply for those jobs. Especially people that have been working in different restaurants like you know, Red Robin, Applebee's, Chili's, etc. Those people coming to your establishment to work your fast food restaurant. Guess what? It's just going to translate to more people wanting to come to your establishment and raise the bar you know, for fast food service. Pa fast food has always been looked down upon. Um, but to me, uh, I enjoy it once in a while. I enjoy me some Chipotle. I'm not going to lie. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> but them prices are <laughs> starting to hurt my pocket. A burrito for $15? God. Man. Anyway. <laughs> I kind of knew something like this is going to happen. Honestly, anybody with eyes and some common sense could see this happening from a long, from long ways out. And unfortunately, some of these businesses are going to take a hit in the beginning. But... These people that want these, I mean, it's a good thing to take care of people, but you're kind of stuck in that um, rat race. You know what I mean? So what I mean is, yes, you're going to get more money. But at what cost? Because everything else is going to follow right behind it. The cost of food is already high, right? So now the business has to raise their prices of the food. And not a lot of people are going to start going to set its establishment because it's too expensive. So it's kind of like a catch-22. You literally put some of these businesses in a no-win situation. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing to take care of your, your employees. Completely understand that. 
but at what cost is what I'm meaning. At what cost? Big franchises can afford this, but not all of them. Not all franchisee can afford to take this kind of hit. And unfortunately for him, he has to get rid of certain perks that used to come with the job in order for him to sustain the employees that he already has. I mean, you know what? I would rather get rid of PTO and still have a steady job than not having a job because even now, it's, it's hard out there to get a job. Trust me, <laughs> it ain't easy, baby. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in the next